Mandera Town, the capital of Mandera constituency, is located strategically at the northeast border of Kenya, with Ethiopia three kilometers north and Somalia less than 500 meters east. The county is the largest in Kenya's northeastern region. But other than migrants teeming within its borders and the threat of Al-Shabaab looming over the heads of locals, what do you know about Mandera Town? For many, very little. With over one million citizens within its borders, the town is a murky abyss of unemployment for many elders, youths and migrants in the region. <laughs> As a result of the high unemployment rate, a large majority of youth are enamored with narcotics that provide a nervotic state, which immenses them in feelings of euphoria. Though the feeling is fleeting, the stress of unemployment, poverty, and providing for families has left many addicted to antipsychotics like diazepam, better known by its street name, Tup Tup or Kabarai. I tagged along a nightly raid by Mandera OCS Albert Kipchumba. Kipchumba went to Bus Park neighborhood, which is notorious for withholding drugs in Mandera town. Kabarai is taken with energy drinks in order to hide the consumption of the drug, and many consume it whilst chewing mira. <laughs> No, but some of them they say they come from Somalia, mm -hmm. they come from Nairobi, they go to Somalia, from Somalia they come back to Kenya. Okay. Mm. So that they can get money. Okay. And you see all uh, these ones, I don't think that um, they were prescribed by the hospital. Uh, in Manara County, we have um, Cospam 5 tablets, 
uh, locally known as Tap Tap, and um, another name it goes by the name Kabarai. And these are uh, hospital uh, tablets, drugs that are for prescription. You cannot get them anywhere. We also have codeine, um, which is also a drugs meant for patients, um, given out by hospitals and uh, chemists. That's, they want to get high, some, those who are mature enough, they will know what they want in drugs, so they want to get high, some would want to sleep. So the only problem with these drugs is that they are very addictive, so as soon as you begin taking them, that is the end of you. It becomes an, uh, you go into a world of addiction. The effects of these drugs for those who consume, for those we have many to arrest, you see them uh, physical signs of abuse of drugs. Emaciated, somebody is not strong enough. Um, they, they, somebody, you look at the face of somebody, this, you see this is a person who has been taking drugs. Is, is that outlook, uh, emotional part of response is slow. You look at the way responding to questions, it has mental effects and body effects, like uh, in me, uh, the, the body effects, you can see at the outlook. I understand that they don't eat. When you are into a world of drugs, that it takes away the appetite even to eat good food. You go for biscuits and sodas and when you take those ones, they are not healthy for your body. So that means when you are into a world of drugs, you are, your health doesn't come out well also. It has effects so that when diseases come, it, you are vulnerable. The only drugs in Vita Kuba Sana Kwasis, Hapa Mandela County, Wabijana, Wale Ambao, who are not young and drugs, Ni Wale Ambao, me Muka Shule. Wale ambao wameanguka mitihani, ambao wangine napata dio, 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 Maslaha is a Somali word which translates to reconciliation or peace offering. Many locals are blaming community elders for using maslaha and bribing police in order to get their sons out of jail. Many say they come out only to continue with their bent. Elders, however, claim this is not the case. Kama kuti na wachilia ni yake, lakini sisi kwa wazee, hakuna maslahi kati ya drugs. Ispokoto aingie makosa ya kemiladamu, uungie mtu kisu, ama uwe mtu, ama nifaye nini, ndio sasa tunaingia maslahi, sababu hili vita sitoke kati ya community. Kwa sababu haki uwe hili jamaa, meneza kuwa na revenge kati ya kabila, meneza kuwa na vita. Kitu kama yu tunaingia ngea maslahi. Lakini kishukwa tu, yukuwa na tumia drugs yake. Youths here believe the largest issue behind their drug abuse is unemployment and the lack of support by community elders and the county government.
However, the community elders here believe they need to be held accountable for their actions. Basically, the last three years, consumption of those two items have been on the surge. And then uh, my team were controlling the consumption because they have been strictly asking for prescriptions. It went to an extent where some boys who are actually addicted to these drugs normally ask for it over the, over the counter and when they are denied, they threaten to stop. Personally, threatened four or five times. Just because I could not allow it to be sold over the counter, I ask for prescription. My boys ask for prescription. And then at the end of the day, they, they, they threaten us with stabbing us or maybe trying to block us on the way. You know? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, unemployment rate is high, and this is uh, a fact. Is it could be more pronounced in Mandera than it is in uh, in, in you know other counties, uh, because the single largest employer 
is the county government, unfortunately. And because of the many security challenges that we've had in the past, uh, external investment, you know, has gotten a bit hindered. <laughs> On Edward Hokoman, I say, I sent children. Mala had a word than Kanka Dorana, the Lira, the Wahamok, Omato, where he ran, Mavante, Wahayo Kabanayan, Majorto, Hoyo in Kamasaki, where ye. county government can only do so much, you know, realistically speaking. Uh, behavioral decay is the responsibility of parenting in order to make sure that we're able to deal with that challenge. But when it comes to marketplace and we get to know about it, even then, we can only do so much. Mohammed, KTN News.